Hello, my most amazing artists. We are going to continue on our square one artwork today. Today's the day that we paint our background. We're gonna use concentric circles like Wazali Kandensky did in his artwork. If you were in my room and you look up towards the clock on the wall, you will see a piece of Wazali Kandensky's where it has 12 different squares. And in each one of those squares, it has a circle within a circle within a circle, and that's what we are going to do. You can see that when I did it, my colors bump into one another, and I don't have white space between my circles. When we do this today, we're gonna to use the nice big flat brushes. You're going to use this and lay it down like it has a foot, because that will give you a nice, even line. If you keep it on its toes like a ballerina this time, it's not going to give you a nice line. If you lay it down like it has a foot, it will give you a nice line. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to have some circles at the tables for you. And this is the first step. I'm going to find, let me move some of my supplies here. I'm going to find about the middle of my paper and then I'm going to lay down the circle about in the middle. Very lightly, I'm going to trace the circle. I don't want it super dark because my paint is somewhat transparent and I don't want to see this circle when I'm painting. So I have my circle here. This is how you're gonna get the shape to begin with. This makes it really easy. Now let's talk about a little bit of color theory before we go on because when you are using our fluorescent tempera paint today, you need to stop and think what colors are gonna blend well together and what aren't. The color wheel in my room on the front of the board up here, there is a red line between orange, green, and purple. Those colors, it's kind of like a stop. Stop and think, like a stop sign. Those colors don't blend well together. Your secondary colors, do not play well together. So don't put these colors next to each other. Colors that are next to each other on the color wheel, like yellow and orange will go well together. Blue and purple will go well together because they're next door neighbors. Blue and orange are across from each other. They are called complementary colors. They will not go well together. Right above my board is the complementary poster. You see red and green yellow and purple, and blue and orange. Those colors don't go well together either. If you don't remember, ask. I always have people say, well, Mrs. Garner, can I put red and blue together? Of course you can, they're both primary colors. And when you mix red and blue, you get purple, so it's gonna be okay. I'll have people say, but Mrs. Garner, what about purple and green? And I'll say, well, there's a red line between them, so you don't want to do that. When you do this today, stop and think about what's going to mix well together and what's not. Ask the people around you. Don't all come to me and ask. There's only one of me. So ask the people around you as well. Okay, so I'm going to start. Um, I think I'm going to start with a primary color because then I will be able to go off of either side of it pretty easily. So why don't I start today with the fluorescent red. So there's a fluorescent red, yellow, orange, green, purple, blue, and, or purple, blue, and green. I'm gonna start with the red. I'm gonna use my brush and I'm going to lay it down right on this circle like it has a foot. Actually, I'm gonna go on the outside of the circle. So I'm gonna lay it down and then go real carefully. Now you see how that's getting scratchy? I still have paint on this side of the brush, so I'm just gonna kind of back up a little bit and then go over it again. Lay it down like it has a foot and it gives you a nice edge. Now, my paint in my room is out by table color, so at the red table, there's fluorescent red. At the yellow table, there's fluorescent yellow. At the green table, there's fluorescent green. So you guys will be walking around and using the paint that you want. So I have my fluorescent red done. You'd leave this brush at the fluorescent red table and then move to your next color. Now, I only have one brush, so I'm gonna wash mine off real fast. 
but this is what you're going to do to fill your circle. Now, I'm gonna go on the inside. I'm gonna fill the inside first. It makes sense to me, because then I can move to the outside and not put my hand on my work. Let me clean off my brush. Now, if I put green next to this, red and green are complementary colors. They don't play well together. I can put pink, orange, yellow, purple, and blue. Every other color except green next to it, and it's gonna be fine. Um, I think I'm actually going to do purple. Because red and purple go well together. Red is one of the colors in purple. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna lay it down. I'm gonna make it bump right into that green line. That's not green, that's red. Make it bump right into that red line. There we go. I don't wanna leave white space. If a little bit of another color gets on the brush like this, just kind of dab it off a little bit. And then you should be good to go. All right, so there's my purple. I'm gonna speed up the video and then finish this up. All right, there is my concentric circles. You can see that you're just gonna lay it down, make it go nice and even all the way around. Think about the colors that mix well together. This will go on the drying rack when you're done. Your mat will need to be wiped down and put away. Please leave the brushes and the paints at the table unless you are a fourth grader. And then when we are all done today, I will ask you guys to help me clean up. Let's get started, friends.